Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell the solution of fifth problem from exercise 8.1 from quadrilaterals from NCRT class 9. Show that if the diagonals of a quadrilateral are equal and bisect each other at right angles then it is a square. So here we have to prove that if the quadrilateral has diagonals are equal by and bisect at 90 degrees then that is a square. So let ABCD be a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means it is bounded by four line segments and here AC and BD are diagonals and they are intersect at O and here the first one it is given that uh, the diagonals are equal. So here AC is equal to BD and next one the diagonals bisect each other that means it divides into two equal parts. So OA is equal to OC and OB is equal to OD just right here and next one is bisect each other at right angles. So diagonals bisect each other at right angles means these four angles are 90 degrees. So right here angle AOB is equal to angle AOB means this angle and angle AOD is equal to 90 degrees. So if the quadrilateral is having all these properties then it is a square. So we have to prove ABCD is a square. So we know that the first property of square is square is a parallelogram that means opposite sides are parallel. So first one we have to prove that ABCD be a parallelogram or AB is parallel to DC these two lines and AD is parallel to BC and second property of square is all sides are equal. So second one we have to prove that AB is equal to BC is equal to these all four sides are equal and third property we know that each angle of a square is 90 degrees. So we have to prove that any of the angle is 90 degrees. So here I have taken angle A. So angle A is equal to 90 degrees. First one we have to prove that AB is parallel to DC these two sides and AD is parallel to BC. So if you observe these two sides are sides of these two triangles. So take these two triangles first in triangle AOB and triangle COD. OA is equal to OC because diagonals bisect to each other so these two sides are equal and uh, these two angles are vertically opposite angles. So angle AOB is equal to angle COD and OB is equal to OD because diagonals bisect to each other. So side angle side of this triangle are equal to corresponding side angle side of this triangle. So triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD by SAS congruence rule. So these two triangles are congruent we can equal the corresponding parts of these two triangles. So angle ODC is equal to angle OBA by CPCT. So here these two angles are alternative interior angles these are equal and for CD and AB and this is the transversal line BD is the transversal line. So we can say that AB is parallel to CD because if a transversal line intersects two parallel lines then the alternative interior angles are equal. Here the alternative interior angles are equal so we can say that AB is parallel to DC. Similarly we can take these two triangles. These two triangles are also congruent. So AD is parallel to BC. You can write directly AD is parallel to BC. Therefore ABCD is a parallelogram because opposite sides are parallel so we can say that ABCD is a parallelogram. Next we have to prove that all sides of this quadrilateral are equal that means AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA. Just now we have proved that triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD. So we can equal the corresponding parts of these two triangles so AB is equal to CD by CPCT. And uh, next we have to prove that AB is equal to AD. So these two sides are uh, sides of these two triangles. So take these two triangles triangle AOB and triangle AOD. OA is equal to OA this is a common side and angle AOB is equal to angle AOD because uh, diagonals bisect at 90 degrees so these two angles are equal and OB is equal to OD because uh, diagonals bisect each other so these two sides are equal so right here. So side angle side of this triangle are equal to side angle side of this triangle. So we can congruent these two triangles. Triangle AOB is congruent to triangle AOD by SAS congruence rule. So once these two triangles are congruent we can equal the corresponding parts of these two triangles. So AB is equal to AD. So right here. And uh, same like that we can uh, congruent these two triangles and again these two triangles also. So directly we can write similarly AD is equal to DC and uh, DC is equal to BC. So from 1, 2 and 3 
we can say that AB is equal to AD is equal to so AB is equal to AD is equal to DC is equal to BC. Now we have to prove that angle A is equal to 90 degrees. So here angle A is the angle of this triangle. So take these two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle BAD. AB is equal to BA that is the common side of these two triangles and BC is equal to AD. Just now we have proved that all sides are equal. So BC is equal to AD and AC is equal to BD. These two are diagonals of this uh, parallelogram. So this is given diagonals are equal so AC is equal to BD. So we can see the triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BAD by SSS congruence rule. So once these two triangles are congruent we can equal the corresponding parts of these two triangles. So angle A is equal to angle B by CPCT. If you observe this figure AD is parallel to BC and AB is a transversal line then these two angles are called co-interior angles. See here. So if a transversal line intersects two parallel lines then the co-interior angle sum is 180 degrees. So angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. Angle A is equal to angle B. So angle A plus angle A is equal to 180. Angle A is equal to 180 by 2 that is 90 degrees. So from 1 we have proved that uh, the ABCD is a parallelogram and in second we have proved that all sides are equal and third just now we have proved that angle A is equal to 90 degrees. So we can say that ABCD is a square. So if diagonals of a quadrilateral are equal and bisect at 90 degrees then it is a square. Now do this exercise. 